speakers at the memorial service he praised on the swap of deputy secretary general and former political prisoner whom they say it will be remembered as a man who walked a committed road towards the country's liberation. Ausiku joined Swapo in 1976 and since then served his party and government at different levels following independence. Swapo Party Regional Coordinator for Claras, Matthew Mumbala, said Ausiku served the party with honor and dedication. He had to ensure so much pain and suffering that the few of us will not even beginning to imagine during the Namibian fighting fight for our independence. He was one of the pillars of the strength inside Namibia. He mobilized the resources and the recruitment, recruiting many young Namibian people, particularly in the Kavango region and the Windu to join the Swapo in exile. Swapo veteran Jonathan Holliard described Ausiku as a selfless and brave struggle stalwart. I met comrade Marco Ausiku in prison in Khobabish. My comrade Marco this this was the year 1978. Since then, we became very good friends, indeed close friends, I must say. Comrade Marco was a very principled person. He fought for the truth. It was not easy to change his mind. In a speech read on her behalf by Namunu's constituency councillor Susan Nzaleka, Paras Governor Aleta Friedrich said Ausiku represented the generation that endured hardship for the liberation of Namibia. He came from a generation of politicians that built the liberation movement into a formidable mass movement for the independence of Namibia and has led the country to freedom and democracy. Lukman Tlutter, NBC News, Kiet Manzwad.